I need to talk about this Britney thing. I don't normally get in all that stuff, but this is bothering me. So if y'all don't mind, I'm going to do my makeup while I talk. Um, I've already put the first layer of foundation on. I'm just going back now and spot checking things. Um, her father pretty much just, not even pretty much, he does control her life to the point where she has to wear an IUD so she doesn't get pregnant. This is a woman who has been in the spotlight since she was a dang child. And she, her, her career pays the salaries of hundreds if not thousands of people. This woman went before a judge and pleaded with the judge that she wanted to get married. She wanted to have children. That's a basic... That's just a basic fundamental right. You know what I mean? Okay, so it says since last February 2009 well this was written a while back one year after her father Jamie was named the conservator in charge of her state Spears has had to pay him 16000 each month according to court documents. Over 12 years, that compensation has totaled $2.4 million. So, not only does her father control her life, even her physical body, she has to pay him to do it? No, no, no. And then it, I see here where her request to have her father removed from her conservatorship um, was denied. I, You know, I just don't understand this. I mean, this is just wrong on so many levels. And, and I'm just going to say it. You know, it reminds me of slavery. That's what it reminds me of. I mean, like I said, I'm not all up on the whole, the whole reason why it was given to him. Um, I had, I had read that it had something to do with uh, a mental breakdown that she had, but conservatorships are meant to be temporary. They're not meant to control your entire life, you know, and, um. This woman's biological clock is ticking, you know what I mean? The time where she's going to be able to have kids is, is going fast. You know, and she wants to have another one, and she wants to get married. Um, and she can't even get married. She can't do any of those things without her father's permission. Now, for the judge... Get this, I don't understand this. So they deemed her mentally unstable, I guess, to live her own life and make her own decisions. But they let her sign away her rights. They deemed her stable enough to sign away her rights to her life, to her father. I don't understand this. Somebody is going to have to explain this to me. It's just crazy. And you know, and child, people that grow up in show business, first of all, their entire perception of reality must be very skewed. You know what I mean? Like, they they don't live in the, the world that the rest of us live in. I mean, how could they? You know, so... She's been, you know, she's 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 been making a living... For other people and paying other people's salaries and all and their bills and everything since she was a freaking child. 
and yet she's not allowed to do her own thing. The whole thing makes me really mad, and I don't understand it. And I don't pretend to understand all about it, but here's what I do know. Money is at the bottom of everything. You cannot tell me that besides her father, the lawyers that are in charge, you cannot tell me, even maybe the judge, you know, you can't, what, what incentive do the, the lawyers have to end all of that for her? They're, they're making bank, you know, and I don't, I'm not saying that, you know, the attorney, I mean, that the judge is, but I'm just saying, you know, money, money makes the world go around and you cannot tell me that people aren't making money off of what's happening to her. So what incentive do they have? to end it for her. You know what I'm saying? I feel for you, Brittany. I truly, truly, truly do. As a human being, and I'm not talking as a fan because I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I, I wasn't a real big fan of Britney Spears. You know, I mean, I, um, when I was younger, I remember her, you know, that, um, that old baby, baby song came out and, I mean, I mean, first of all, I'm going to ask you, let me ask you something. What kind of truly loving, caring father is going to allow his daughter to do a video like that in in the first place? You know, the way she, she was very young and she was, the way she was dressed in that video, uh, -uh the message she was sending, that to me is irresponsible as I'll get out. You know what I'm saying? So, just... I, I am having a real hard time with it. And the, the really sad, awful thing is that, well, I mean, what can any of us really do for her other than pray for her and, um, you know, maybe write letters to, can we write letters to our congressman? I don't know. Will that, will that, Will that do any good? I just don't, I don't know. But to me, and I'm just going to say it, I don't really care how mad it makes anybody. Because her father literally owns her. And I'm sorry, but... Sorry, not sorry. I thought we abolished slavery a long time ago. You know, talking about Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter and doesn't Britney's life matter? Doesn't she have a right to live her own life? Listen here. We get one life to live. One. I be damned if I'm going to let somebody else tell me how I can and can't live it. And I sure as hell would not be letting other people um, tell me whether I can and can't get married. I mean, who, who in Hollywood do you know? I mean, that, that does, these are, these celebrities, they're bombarded all the time. You know, with fans, with um, agents, producers, other people are always pulling at them. You couldn't, there's not enough money in the dang world for me to want to be famous. Nope. You can keep that crap. I mean, even without a conservatorship, you got people telling you what to do all the time anyways because you have contracts and things like that nope I don't think so it ain't no wonder most celebrities hide out in private places and in their homes and whatever and they don't want to come out you know or they get irritated with fans you know 
I mean, God, you're a product. You are literally a product. And now what they've done to Britney Spears, she she has literally no control over her life. Put yourself in that position. She's got one life to live. And she she's spending it with somebody else controlling it. It just makes me ill. And I wish her all the luck in the world. I really do. And I don't know what, what we can do about it. Like I said, I don't know if, if this is a situation where we can write our congressman Anybody out there has any ideas of how we can help for Brittany? You know, I mean, we're not, none of us are, well, some of you out there may be attorneys and whatever, but, I mean, what can we do other than continue to let her know that we support her? She needs to continue to petition, you know, every chance she gets to be released from that conservatorship. Only thing I can tell you, dear Brittany, your father can't live forever. I mean, I don't know what would happen if something happened to him. And I'm not wishing anything happened to him, obviously. But it, it seems at this point, that's the only way she's going to break free, right? Is if... But I mean, by the time her father is old enough to pass away... Which would, would be tragic for anybody to lose their father, even even under these circumstances. I mean, how old is she going to be? You know? And and does that conservatorship just end up falling on to somebody else? I mean, it's some bullcrap. All of it is. It's just all of it. It's just bullcrap. Like I said, I wish the man no ill, obviously. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying. It just feels like for her to be able to live her own life, the rate is going. That may not be until he's gone. You know? I'm not encouraging anybody to bring him any harm. Do not misunderstand what I am saying right now. I don't want somebody coming back in my comments or thinking that threats are being made because they're not. Or, you know, that I'm encouraging that because I'm not. I'm just saying it's like, if it was me, I would be looking for a good attorney. You know what, somebody... I read somewhere that they had said that she had an attorney and then the judge said she couldn't use that attorney. She had to use a court appointed one. Come on. I mean, why? This is you you that makes no sense to me at all. She should be able to hire This is still America. She should be able to have whatever attorney she wants. And then you know what? She had to not only pay for that, she had to pay for her father's attorneys, for the very ones who are keeping her where she, in the situation she's in. I'm going to say this. All of you that are having any part in keeping Brittany a prisoner of her own in her own life y'all ought to be ashamed of yourselves especially her father I'm gonna speak to Jamie straight up you should be ashamed of yourself you act like you're doing this for her own good but you're stealing her life the only one that she gets and I'm sure in her heart she loves you but you're also making her hate you 
And is that how you want to be remembered when you're gone from this earth? Is somebody that made Brittany your slave? Is that the legacy you want to leave behind? You need to let that girl live her life. We all make mistakes. God knows I've done stupid things in my life. I tried to take my life in 2016. But that lesson, that made me stronger. It made me more able to take care of my life. Not less. Because it, it taught me how to be strong. I know y'all make all kinds of faces when I... I mean, what's her, what's her only, what's her other options? To run away? You know? I just say shame on all of you. Shame on anyone that's having any part in keeping Brittany in this situation that she is in. They're all benefiting from it. I bet if she wasn't making any money, they wouldn't be so quick to be trying to keep her in this conservatorship crap. Brittany, man. Girl, maybe you just need to refuse to work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just refuse to work. And that's what I would do. I would be like, you know, you know what? I'm done. I am done. I am not making y'all any more money until y'all let me live my own life. That's exactly, exactly what I would tell them. Don't know if I'm going to leave my hair. It's so funky after I take it out of there. I don't have my brush in here either. So I could do it like this. With a little bit out. Or put all of it back. I might just I might just leave a little bit out. Because I messed up the way it lays when I put it back. Now it's got, now it's, and I washed it this morning too, so it's like all fly away. It's all, you know, whatever. Um, there's like a quick way you can kind of fix that. You just put some lotion on your hands and then, I don't like putting lotion in my hair because it makes my hair feel dirty, but I got a little issue right here. It's not one to to behave so but yes that is my opinion on the whole Britney thing I guess you know the bottom line is you know girl I wish you luck I wish you peace in your life I wish that you would be able to live your own life really soon because there's a lot of people making a lot of money off of you. And it isn't right. You know. They can make all this money off of you. But. You can't. Do your own thing. It's wrong. On so many levels sweetheart. And I hope that this all gets sorted out for you real soon and that you can go about just being you. My heart goes out to you. And you have millions of people out here praying for you and rooting for you. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about the about Brittany and what's happening with her. And the fact that the judge did deny her request to take her father off her conservatorship. 
I don't know if there's any legal eagles out there can maybe fill us in a little bit on why this is happening and why the judge denied her. Personally, I think it's all about... God bless you guys. Okay, guys, so this came in today. Um, July 2nd. I saw this as I was looking up this stuff. Um, let's see if it's... I'm not sure how far this is going to record. But, um, so it says, Bessemer Trust, a professional wealth management firm that was poised to take over as co-conservator of Britney Spears' estate and work with her father, has asked to resign from the arrangement, according to court documents filed Thursday, July 1st, that was cited by the New York Times. The company, which manages more than $100 billion in assets, said it was requesting to withdraw due to changed circumstances. In the filing, the firm said it had been told the singer's conservatorship was voluntary and under her consent, but in her blistering 24-minute statement against the conservatorship in court last week, made it clear that she is opposed to it, or at least her father, Jamie Spears, continuing as her conservator. She has said multiple times that she wants him removed as her conservator. Her most recent request, which predated last week's statement, was denied by Judge Brenda Penny on Wednesday. So this multi-billion, this company that handles multi-billion dollars in assets has said, hey, we don't want any part of this because we were told and of the understanding that this is what she wanted. And they're finding out, no, this is not what she wants at all. We don't want any part of this, this circus. So, yeah. And hopefully that will prompt other people to listen. People with some kind of power to help this girl. Let me know what you all think in the comments. God bless you all. Take care and free Brittany. God bless you, Brittany. Huh?